Anybody who knows anything about NPC Live, you know that it's made for portability, producing on the go. So in order to do that, you need to be unplugged. NPC Live does that, but it does not support XLR microphones or supply phantom power. So I'm going to show you a workaround for it. Of course, you can get yourself a small audio interface, but that may need to be plugged into a wall or into a computer. So what I've done, i got my Behringer C1 microphone here that I like a lot. And I want to use it on my MPC Live, but I can't. There's no XLR input. So I got out my Zoom H6 uh, recorder. And what I did with that, you got to connect here where you can connect this to a computer via USB um, for data transfer. But also you can power it using that. It's battery powered, but the batteries are here. We're gonna use the USB input on the back of the MPC Live today to power the Zoom H6. So that makes it completely uh, portable as an audio interface. So I'm gonna hit this. I'm gonna turn my MPC Live on first, and that will allow the power to come through the MPC Live. And we gotta have it on anyway to record, but the power uh, turned on the MPC Live also generates power out of the USB and put on the back into the Zoom H6. So let's get started there. All right, empty project. All right, so now I hit my power button on my Zoom H6 and it will come on. All right, let me change this brightness. All right, we're going to scroll down to audio interface. You have two options there. And select that. I'm going to go with multi-track, PC, Mac. And there you have it. That's my track layout. And you can see that the meter on microphone one is already working. That's already had it set up. And that is the audio coming through the Behringer C1. All right. So from the Behringer C1, I'm plugged into microphone one. Um, it's got a little volume on it, and phantom power is turned on, obviously, because the mic's working. You can see the light lit right there, because this device does supply phantom power to uh, each of these four channels. Uh, so from there, uh, I have my line out, and I have that going into input one on the back of the MPC Live. And that's where the audio is feeding into, so let's go to an audio track. I'm going to arm it and I'm going to go to uh, input one. All right. Monitor if I have my headphones on. And there you see you're not getting a whole lot of volume, but um, you can see the meter moving a little bit. Let's see if I can change that resolution. There we go. You can see the meter moving a little bit. So it's active. Um, what we could do is um, change the line out level on the H6, uh, turn the microphone up, but we don't want to peak on the H6 going into the MPC. Another option is to go here and um, choose a compressor, let's go with a vintage compressor. So that, and we're going to tweak the input and output. So I'm going to increase the, I can fix this so you can see it. Increase the input. Q link over. Increase the output. I don't know if y'all can see that. Change the resolution, the brightness again. There we go. So we're gonna change the output now. So now both the input and output are turned up. Close that. And you should see a little more level coming up on the input of that channel. All right, so that's how you hook an XLR microphone. That's one option to hook an XLR microphone to your MPC Live. Once again, plugging the microphone into the Zoom H6 here. Turn the microphone up. Uh, activate the channel. Turn phantom power on. And from the line out into the MPC, Power the Zoom H6 with the USB input on the back of the MPC Live. Now you have a portable 
um, set up for using XLR mic for the MPC Live. I hope this was helpful. Subscribe.